Liam, nice to be back at home, nice to be back with a win. Your thoughts on today's performance? Tough, tough, yeah. Like you say, it's nice to be back in front of your home crowd. Uh, I thought the first half performance very good, very controlled. Uh, you'd expect Rotherham, you know, with the team they are and, uh, you know, the management team have got to give you a good game and put you on your back foot, which they did for some periods of the second half. But uh, credit to our lads, they dug in, uh, they defended well and thankfully we got the win. Was that in many ways a game like last season where the opposition quite blatantly came here to, to try and frustrate? Um, listen, everybody's got their own game plan, everybody's got their own kind of personnel to, to try and create wins and, and get the points and Rotherham are no different to, to ourselves. Uh, we've also got a style of play. Um, you know, but fair credit, I don't think um, any any player from, from Wigan or, or Rotherham left the breath on the pitch today. Do you or does the manager take the accolades for the tactical master stroke bringing on McManaman and, and Vaughan and, and seeing them two get the goal? <laughs> well, he's not here, it's me. Uh, you ask him, it'll be uh, himself. No, listen, the squad's you know, it's strong in our opinion. Everybody's chomping to play and you know, there's nobody more conscious of that than the, the gaffer and myself. You know, to try and pick everybody to get them games and you know, thankfully the lads went on the pitch today. Uh, and you know, involved in the winning goal, involved in some creativity to, to try and win the game. Um, you know, the, the squad gets stretched as you see. You know, Crackers and uh, Gavin Massey come off through the week. Josh Windass and uh, Callum Conley come in and do a great job. So it's about the squad today. Uh, even the lads who didn't get on the pitch did in there. I five and the lads, and that's what it wants to build. Yeah, the manager always speaks about the squad. How important is it having that hunger off the bench to have the guys during the course of a season that you know you can rely on? Ah, oh, it's massive. You know, it's no no greater saying in the game that you know a, a certain good team. Possibly doesn't win leagues, but a good squad, you know, certainly can take you a long way to doing so. Um, you know, last year was no different, and this year is going to be, uh, you know, tested right to the end. And you know, who knows if we keep a good, healthy squad together, you know, keep picking the wins up. Fingers crossed, we can, uh, you know, create something. Got the goal in the end, but also had to do a fair bit of defending at the end. And nice to get the first clean sheet at home this season. Yes, correct. You know, I think the lads uh, defended well enough to to kind of earn that as well. You know, through Cedric Shea, the lads in front of them, you know. Even the lads up top were working tirelessly hard to, to try to keep a clean sheet. I think the, the worst result for us today is nil-nil. Thankfully, we've got a, couple of, you know, a goal to, to win the game. There's been plenty of goals in the first few games, but today just the one in it. must have been easier on the tick of reaching to the, the last moment rather than what we've seen before. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Um, you know, you're certainly set up to try and win. You're set up to try and uh, entertain and, like you say, keep, keep all the lads active and, and on the pitch. And, you know, we've got three points today, so we made up. And in terms of that back three unit, two centre halves and, and uh, Christian Walton behind them, big save from Christian after taking the lead to, to keep it how it was. Yeah, definitely. You know, no secret, we wanted to bring Christian back. Um, you know, straight away from last year, thought he ticked a lot of boxes for us. Last year's pro progression's great. Um, you know, it'll give him confidence. You know, he's coming for some crosses at the end, and you know, they are bombarding our box with long throws and free kicks. And you know, I thought the lads stood tall and um, you know, and handled the test all, all, all lads on the pitch. And after a busy period, now the full weeks, two weeks until the next game away at Brentford. Yeah, I think a few lads will need the need the break and need the rest. Like I said, the injuries kind of creep up on you a, a little bit, so it's it's our time to try and get some work into the lads who who haven't been playing and some rest in the lads who, who've had a hectic start to the season. And hopefully, we can come back. Certainly, uh, you know, week commencing next week, and, and look forward to Brentford. Like if Dan Byrne, Michael Jacobs, Dan Gibson likely to be back after the international break, or, or too early at the moment? Um, listen, we, we assess them daily. The lads are doing a good job. They're working hard, and you know, you can see them. You know, they're as nervous as, as we are on the on the uh, on the pitch and in the dressing room afterwards. So fingers crossed, we can get them back to, to full fitness as soon as we can.